What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we are talking about the Cougar Armor Titan Gaming Chair. More of a gaming throne really. That's gaming throne, not game of thrones. If you didn't like that joke, I bet you won't like the end of season eight either. Uh, let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. Let's get all of the standard features out of the way. So obviously it has a three axis armrest adjustment function. So it can go up or down, left or right, or you can twist it in and out like that, which is exactly what you should expect from a top of the line gaming chair. You can also adjust the height and reclining all the way up to 170 degrees. And there's also a tilt resistance lock function, which lets you accurately portray how much swag you currently have on your person. So you see, no swag, swag, no swag, swag. I'm gonna leave it in swag mode. A lot of other expensive gaming chairs do have a tilt resistance lock function, but what they don't do is allow you to set how much you actually want your chair to tilt. So with the Kugel Armour Titan, you can go anywhere from zero to 70 degrees from your current reclining setting. So that's pretty cool. Updated, advanced. Hadouken. Now the reason the Kugel Armour Titan is a special chair is because it is equipped to handle a whole shite ton of weight, like up to 160 kilograms, bruv, which is huge. It makes me feel like a six year old, my feet like dangling off the edge. I feel like the small spoon in a cuddling scenario. It's just, it's like enveloping me from start to finish. It's ridiculous. It also weighs just about as much space as it takes up. It's about 28.6 freaking kilograms, bro. The whole thing assembled and stuff. It takes about two of me to carry that bad boy. On the topic of its weight though, it's also incredibly well built. It's got a fully steel frame, 100% steel to hold that 160 kilograms. So it's got a really nice five star aluminium 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 alloy aluminium <laughs> aluminium fucking americans um, so <laughs> So it's got a really nice five star aluminium alloy base for the legs and also again to hold that all up. And then the gas cylinder is class four. So moving up that 160 kilograms is no problem. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna commit. Yeah, dude, I'm just gonna commit. Now the wheels in comparison to the rest of the build seem fairly standard. Like, I mean, this thing is high quality, it's premium, and they're not necessarily bad wheels. They are a whole lot larger than other wheels you might see on other gaming chairs. But again, this chair is a whole lot larger and it handles pretty well on carpeting or wooden flooring, but it doesn't seem incredible, like amazing, like throne worthy. The whole chair is coated in premium PVC leather, which feels quite nice, like there's no denying it. It does feel high quality and premium, but the comfort is a bit of an issue for some of us here at Reality Check. Now, I'm a small dude, you can see. So you can see by the size of this chair that it's just not made for me. I'm not made to fit into it. It feels like I'm being hugged by it. I think you actually have to be a sizable person. See how nice the word is, sizable. A sizable individual. Sizable. He's a sizable. Sizable. I mean, larger than size four. In order to comfortably enjoy this chair. Otherwise you might find that your shoulders are hitting weird spots on it, or that it doesn't rest comfortably for your neck. This is a large chair for large people and you should not forget that when you are deciding to purchase this bad boy. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of Reality Check. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Cougar Armor Titan. Uh, let me know what gaming chairs you're currently using. What's your brand of choice? Vertigear, HH Gears, Cougar, those are all the brands I can think of right now. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check.